Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get the Ardour Audio Workstation tool working on Linux. So I'm going to be covering the way to install it through Debian, and I'm also going to be briefly talking about compiling it. And I'm not going to fully cover compiling because it's a long process, and we cover that in the article, but uh, let's start with the compiling stuff. So to get the code, you're going to want to do git clone and do that. And please check the description because we go a lot in detail about the the uh, dependencies you'll need, the tools that you'll need to get it going, and none of this is going to work without that. So I've got the code, now I can go into the Ardour directory, list everything out, and if I wanted to, I could start the building process by doing WAF. Now, I need to run WAF configure, and this will go through, and it'll build the code, and it's going to take quite a bit of time, which we don't have in this video. So luckily, there are other ways to install Ardour. The main reason I brought up the compiling from source, which we cover in the article, like I said, is because the way that the Ardour audio editor works in uh, on Linux is they give away the source for free because it's open source, but then they have installable binaries that anyone can install by purchasing and donating on the website. Now, most Linux distributions have a binary in their distribution uh, software repository, so if I go and search for Ardour here, it's right here, but it's also older than what you would get from the from the website. So to install it on Debian and Ubuntu, you would do sudo apt install Ardour. And basically any other program, if you need an, an audio editor, a professional one, and you don't care about the fact that it's a bit older in the package repository, going through just the basic setup of uh, Installing it through the package uh, repositories is a good way to go. There's a lot of different settings that we can go through that I'm unfortunately not going to mess with right now because it'll mess up my audio settings. But uh, let's open it up and take a look at it. It's a hugely complicated audio workstation editor tool. And uh, if you are someone who needs to be doing professional audio, you definitely need to check this one out. Please check the description below. Like I said, we go over how to compile it from source and how to do a bunch of these other things uh, in detail. For now, this has been Derek, and I will see you guys in the next video.